chicken pot pie. Yeah, it's full, huh? I got some fresh pomegranates. So I'm gonna cut all these open and get the seeds and we can put them in our oatmeal and our salads. All right, I got all four pomegranates cleaned and now I'm gonna put them in these mason jars. Fill them up, see how much I got. Maybe just one jar. So I ended up with two jars of pomegranates. And I can put them on top of my oatmeal, my salads. I make great garnishes. And I'm going to store these in my refrigerator. Score. smaller bed I got lettuce cabbage spinach celery and some of this pink winter squash I grew on the end we had to put this chicken wire on top remember this is a no chicken zone but those cats that were dropped off a couple months ago they think these are big kitty litter boxes so that's why you're seeing all this fencing on top and over here I planted some spinach lettuce and it's a kale mix, but they're starting to come up. I planted them a week ago. You can see them down there starting to come up. Little cuties. That's exciting. Yep, we had to fence it all off. Those friggin' cats. The cabbages are getting big. Pretty big. And the garlic. So I'm excited about all this. Alright, I got some jalapenos and some serranos and a couple Peter peppers. So I'm gonna get all these cut up and in the dehydrator. Alright, our neighbor Ken said that if we keep them, give him some eggs, he's gonna give us some fresh deer meat. So he told John to bring some bags over. So we're going to get deer meat for February 2023. So now I'm at Ken's house to see the deer situation. These are some, uh, like, flank steak belly. Oh. You brought all your plants in, didn't you? You brought all your plants in. Man, that's good. Uh, not all of them. <laughs> That's the front leg. I've got a back leg and... We don't have to... Mm -hmm. I'm just going to just flint. Wow. Just cook that down. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Cook the cooker, whatever he yeah. said. Awesome. Thank you very oh, much. There's the exchange. Let me see your e
This is my neighbor. <laughs> this Bar's, is Ken. Bar's country home. <laughs> Look at the pr production they got coming out of there. <laughs> You're funny. Look at Ken's oh, hot sauce collection. Night, Mr. Franny. See those strings right there hanging off his claw? I'm gonna try to get those off. I can't see. On his foot. I think I got it. This is one I just took off from Mr. Franny's foot. It was on there all day and he kept trying to get it off and he wouldn't let me catch him and John said, wait till nighttime. So I got it. I also want to share a package I got from Lazy Days Ahead with Jesse and Lisa. We got a big box, but these three John won on the Wicked Awesome Gardener, a three pack. And then we won a four pack of her jams on the New Year's Eve and the Christmas Live giveaway. And they are delicious. Lisa does an awesome job. We got pumpkin spice jam, mango jam, balsamic onion, low sugar peach, watermelon jam, strawberry jam, and strawberry pineapple jam. So awesome. Thank you, Lisa. And we got, we got a grumpy old bear coffee mug, which John has been using. John makes three to four cups of coffee a day, and he takes his cup and takes it all around the yard and feeds the chickens and this actually holds more than his old cup, but this is a great, 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 perfect cup for John. Thank you, I love that cup. And then we got a salsa cookbook with a bunch of salsa recipes. And we make a lot of salsa, this is really nice. This is a book that someday when my son moves out, not that I want him to move out, this is a book I'm gonna send with him. It says, all you, all you need is a mug and a microwave. See? And he can make dinner every night in the mug. We got a lot of great recipes in here, though. There's some. Oh, that looks really good. This is a cute little book. And then I got an outdoor chef book. John Marty went through this one. They got some really good recipes. And they got pretty pictures in there, too. This is great. And it came with a bookmark, y'all. Not a sticker. This is a bookmark. Or you can use it for a sticker, I suppose. But we're going to use it for a bookmark. So thank you, Jesse and Lisa, for the outdoor chef, the meal in the mug, the salsa, the grumpy old bear mug, and all those awesome jams right there. That was really, really, really nice. Thank you, thank you. I also want a ball home preserving book. I've been wanting this for a long time. It's from Generational Homestead. His name is Wesley, and it was his birthday live. And I won this book, and I've been wanting it for a long time. I'm just learning to can, so this will be very helpful. So thank you, Wesley. Go check out Generational Homestead and tell him Barb sent you. All right, this is the last one. Little Frenchie has a live every Sunday night now. And I finally got her sticker. I have her hat, but I've never had her sticker. So that's going to go on my sticker door. And I won last Sunday night a bag of her freeze-dried pineapple. So we're going to try this tonight after dinner. It's in the Myler bag. So thank you, Anne. At Little Frenchie in Big Texas. Awesome.